Yes. So in my previous video, we have done a question based on dipole moment. This is one more question uh, based on dipole moment. Let us discuss that. <coughs> Explain why dipole moment of chlorobenzene lower than that of cyclohexyl chloride. Let us first write the compound. One is chlorobenzene. Yes, one more is cyclo hexyl chloride yes fine let us write the structures chlorobenzene yes a benzene ring with cl yes done cyclo compound remember in cyclo compound there are no pi bonds so cyclo hexyl c6 and chloride so this is our cyclo hexyl chloride only difference is there are pi bonds here there are no pi bonds here cyclo compound doesn't have pi bonds let us come back now they've given me dipole moment as i said whenever you're speaking about dipole moment speak in terms of mu dipole moment speak in terms of bond length speak in terms of electronegativity now in this particular case problem starts where earlier when i said it electronegativity differences but here both are same halogens so how should i answer then your concept uh, your answering way should be like this now both are same benzene ring same but what is the difference you are finding the pi bond structure there, there are no pi bonds in this so start your answer like this so just write the structure and first important thing is you are going to write start from here this is your first carbon let us start one two three four five and six start you have your pi bonds one and two three and four and alternate in this particular carbon this particular structure this carbon and this chlorine are which type of hybridization as we have studied double bonds so here sp2 hybridization yes hybridization now in this particular case c 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 here we have sp3 hybridization yes now we have already learned in grade 11 what are the different types of hybridizations we have yes sp what do we have as character in this s and p we have half and half in sp2 yes what did we what did we learn in sp2 in sp2 we have learned the percentage is 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 this is what we have learned in sp3 when we say it is 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 yes fine so in sp2 hybridization this is your s character this is your p character which we have learned in grade 11 so here it is now which is more than this this character is more in sp2 or sp3 when we see in this yes now the when the s character is more it is very close to the nucleus the nu or the bond between these two are very close means because the s character is more so this particular bond is very tight or compact compared to this two this bond this bond is very compact because s character this bond is a bit farther because of this s character so sp2 hybridization so what do i write s percentage or s character so let me write s character so i'll write s character is just just right one third per percentage right and here here your s character as we have written it is one fourth yes now after writing this what are you observing now when the s character is closer i said the internuclear force of attraction or inter nuclear attraction is greater yes so we are closely coming means the pull or the electronegativity is closer here inter nuclear forces are a bit less or should i write full form less yes now 
what are you observing now i really now i i spoke about carbon chlorine mon here i spoke about carbon chlorine mon s character done when this character is more i said the force of attraction is more that means indirectly i should say electronegativity is more means electronegative nature is more in this let us come back to the next point what what is the difference you are finding in this particular bond there is pi bond there are no pi bonds when there is pi bonds basic thing i have to remember delocalization of electron happens delocalization of electrons the shifts here the shifts here the shifts here and finally the shifts here delocalization of which electron so i have to be very clear in the exam delocalization of pi electrons are you finding any delocalization here no so no delocalization observed yes no so i basically spoke about dipole means i spoke about electronegativity then i spoke about something called delocalization of electrons i even spoke about hybridization of s character this is a further extension of dipole moment so because of these two reasons i come back to the conclusion hence hence chlorobenzene <coughs> has lesser they have given this dipole moment of chlorobenzene is lower than cyclohexyl chloride yes this is how you are supposed to write the answer thank you for watching let us meet in the next video